Welcome to Arcade Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timushenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set to 2.6 and problem number 2.90. A bracket ACB can slide freely on the vertical shaft BC but is held by a small collar attached to the shaft as shown in the figure. Neglecting all friction, find the reactions at B and C for the vertical load as shown. That means there is a bracket A, C, B which can able to slide freely in the vertical di direction. That means no vertical reaction. Only horizontal reactions will develop at B and C. But a collar is attached at C so that the movement is also arrested in vertical direction at C. Hence, two reactions are developed at C and only one reaction developed at B because at B there is no restriction to slide in the vertical direction. Of course, a force 4450 Newton's force is acting at A. Now, our interest is to find the reactions at B and C. For that, we will consider the free body diagram of the ACB bracket. As we discussed, two reactions are developed at RC, RCH and RCV, and only one reaction will develop RB. Let us assume these directions are the initial assumed directions and a applied force of 4450 newtons. Now, I can take the moments about any point. So, I will take the moments about point B. Now, if we take the moments about point B, clearly we can see RB is passing through the point B and the line of action of RCV is also passing through the point B. Hence, RB and RCV will not introduce any moments. I can find the moments only with RCH and with the 4450. RCH moment is in this direction that is clockwise and 4450 is also in this direction because I am taking the moments about point B. Both are acting in the clockwise directions. Now RCV, <coughs> now RCH, line of action of RCH is at a distance of 350.6 from point B. This distance is given. And the 4450 line of action is also at a distance of 300.8. This distance is also given. So straight away, I can take the moments about point B. And this is RCH multiplied by 350.6 plus 4450 into 300.8 because both the forces are creating the moments in the same direction. Upon simplification, you will get RCH is equal to minus 3817.91 Newtons. So what is the meaning of this minus? So the initial assumed direction of the RCH, which is act, which is assumed in the towards right side, is wrong, and RCH is acts towards left side. This is the direction of RCH, but the magnitude is 3817.91 Newtons only. Now, by considering the equilibrium equation sigma fx is equal to zero, now RCH is RCH and RB both are acting in the same direction. Hence, RCH plus RB is equal to zero. And RCH, I am substituting the actual value minus 3817.91 plus RB is equal to 0. Hence, RB is equal to 3817.91. I am getting positive. So, this direction is right direction. And the RB is equal to 3817.91 Newtons is one of the answer. Now, let us consider sigma Fy is equal to 0. There are two forces are acting along Y direction that is RCV and 4450 both are acting in the opposite direction hence RCV is equal to 4450 Newtons. We know the value of RCH and we know the value of RCY hence I can find the reaction at C and that is square root of RCH square plus RCY square and upon substituting you will get RC is equal to 5863.35 Newtons. So this is the answer for the given problem. This 